Hi, in this video we will see how to find the square of numbers without actually multiplying the number to itself. We have smaller numbers like 2, 3, 5, 9 or maybe 13. It's very easy to find the square of these numbers. We can do 2 times 2, 3 times 3, 5 times 5. But if the numbers are big, if there are bigger numbers, For example, 42 square. How do we find the square of 42 without actual multiplication? We will write 42 square as 42 times 42 and this 42 can be written as 40 plus 2 times 40 plus 2. Okay, which is nothing but distributing 40 over this bracket. So 40 times 40 plus 2. And distributing this plus 2 over this bracket again. So plus 2 times 40 plus 2. Now we will distribute 40 again. So 40 times 40 is 1600. 40 times 80 is 40 times 2 is 80. Plus 2 times 40 is plus 80. And plus 2 times plus 2 is plus 4. When we add all that we will get 1600 plus 160 plus 4 which gives us a 1764 which is the square of 42. So we can find the square of the numbers without actual multiplication by using the law of distribution like this. Now if we look at the square of all the numbers ending in 5 for example if we find out 15 square it's 225. 25 square, it's 625. 35 square, it's 1225. 45 square is 2025 and so on. What pattern do we observe here? That if we are squaring any number ending in 5, if we are squaring any number and ending in 5, then the last two digit of the square is always 25. What about the digits that are coming before 25? How are we getting this digit? You look at the first digit of the number which you are squaring. Okay, and you multiply that digit by one more. So more one more than one is two. One times two gives us a two. If we have 25 square, then we look at this two and we multiply two by 1 more than 2 which is 3 we get a 6. For 35 square look at this 3. 3 multiplied to 1 more than 3 which is 4 and we get a 12. 45 square 1 more than 4 is 5 and 4 times 5 is 20, 25. Okay. Similarly if we try to find out 75 square. So we will directly write a 25. We know that the square will end with a 25. Look at all the, the number formed by the digits remaining. So this is 7. This 5 has anyways led us to a 25. So we'll leave the 5 and look at the remaining digits. So we have just 7 left. 7 will be multiplied to a number which is 1 more than 7. That's 8. And 7 8s are 56. Let us look at one more example. For example, 105 square. So this 5 here will yield us a 25. So we got a 25 here. Now the number that is formed from the remaining digit is 10. So what we will do, we will multiply 10 to a number which is 1 more than 10 which is 11. And 10 times 11 gives us 110. So the square of 105 is 11025. So you see how easy it is to square any number ending in 5. So I hope this much is clear to everyone. If you have any doubts regarding this, you can send me an email at keerti.mathacademy at gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel, Math Academy. If you have liked my videos, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.